The biggest compensation payout in Australia's history. Owners of defective Toyota vehicles are able to apply for compensation from today under a federal court ruling. The court found that it estimated 260,000 Toyota Hilux, Prado and Fortuna models sold between October 2015 and April 2020 had faulty diesel filters. It also found the company had engaged in misleading or deceptive marketing. Toyota says it will appeal. Under the federal court decision, affected car owners can apply for compensation from 10 o'clock this morning. The average payout is expected to be $10,500 per vehicle, meaning Toyota could be facing a total bill of more than $2.7 billion. Straight to our reporter Ruby Cornish in Sydney. Ruby, good morning. Tell us, what has the court actually found? G'day, Isk. Well, this case relates to Toyota Hilux, Prado and Fortuna vehicles that were sold between the 1st of October in 2015 and the 23rd of April in 2020. And in April this year, the federal court found that more than 260,000 vehicles sold in that period had dodgy diesel particulate filters and the lawyers in the case successfully argued that what that did was reduce the fuel efficiency of the vehicles uh, and uh, basically contribute to the wear and tear of the vehicles as well and that this would have actually reduced the value of the vehicles by 17 and a half percent of the time they were sold and so each individual compensation uh, claim could be worth ten and a half thousand dollars the court also found that Toyota engaged in misleading and deceptive conduct in their marketing and selling of the vehicles. So from 10 o'clock this morning, affected vehicle owners can get online and apply for compensation. And it's depending on how many people actually do this, we could be seeing Toyota pay out more than $2.7 billion, which would make it one of the largest compensation payouts in Australian history. Uh, for its part, Toyota says it will appeal this decision. And of course, we won't see any payouts happening until that appeal has gone through the system. It also says that in the meantime, any affected vehicle owner can take their car in uh, and have it fixed up free of charge. Ruby Cornish in Sydney, thank you.